Hey, what's up all you art geeks out there today? You're going to be watching me paint this little portrait study that I created over the weekend on a Saturday. I was just kind of killing some time in between a couple activities I had going on for the day and I thought here's a couple hours of time. I got nothing going on. I'll just set up my easel on my kitchen table, get a handful of colors out and just see what happens. Now, uh, what you're seeing here, especially in the top left corner is a reference image or a concept image that I did not have when I was painting this, I just had the original photo that I found on Pinterest. And the reason I'm not showing that Pinterest photo is I'm not really sure how that works with copyright and all that. So I decided to just put some quick conceptual ideas together that I was sort of visualizing in my head. The, the concept image you're seeing is what I was visualizing I wanted to do with this painting as far as colors go, as far as abstracting the eyes, was just sort of the basic idea is what you're seeing in the top left. When I was painting, the original photo was black and white, just a regular photo from Pinterest. I didn't have my usual model photos with me. They're all in my studio down in uh, Des Moines. So I thought, well, let's just go into Pinterest. We'll find something really quick because it's just a painting study. I wasn't worried about this being a final project where I control the whole outcome from the photo to the final painting. So this is what we ended up with is uh, just a quick concept image for you to look at while I'm painting so you get an idea of where I'm going with this. Now, I thought I'd talk a little bit about why I enjoy doing these portrait studies. But before we get into that, I just want to quickly mention that I do have a Patreon account with a bunch of oil painting tutorials that will help you learn how to oil paint like me, how to portrait paint, and there's also some great art downloads as well. Now, I think one of the biggest reasons for me to create these portrait studies, it really helps to keep my abilities locked in. It really helps to make sure that I don't lose the ability to see the process to see how I put things together. So if I go too long, if I go say a week, I go on vacation, I come back and I just lose a little something. I lose that ability to paint as efficiently as I'd like. You know, normally a painting that's a nine by 12 should take me three to five hours. But if I go on vacation, it could take longer than that because I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. I kind of forget my full flow of how I like to go about it, the procedure that I like to use. I think every artist probably has some sort of procedure. Some are a little bit more reactive and maybe not as well laid out, but I think mine's very reactive, especially towards the end. The first couple steps though, when I paint is a lot like this one where I'm just trying to get the drawing done. I'm trying to get the uh, colors figured out. In this painting, I wasn't really worried about anything. I decided to set up my phone. That's all I had was my phone to record this. I didn't have my whole video set up where I have my palette recording and my painting being recorded with some nicer equipment. Just a phone. I thought, you know what, let's see what happens. Maybe this will turn into a decent video and I can share it on YouTube. So I thought it turned out okay. I thought it was worth sharing. But at the end of the day, I was painting as if nobody's watching. I was painting as if I didn't really care if this ended up being worth sharing with the world. So some other things to really talk about when it comes to studies and why I think everybody should be doing studies as much as they can it helps to improve your skills. I think that's obvious. If you're an artist that's just getting started and you don't paint very often, that's gonna be your first hurdle to get over is to find time to paint. Now this painting, it took under two hours. I think this was like an hour and a half painting. I really was going loose and fast. I really didn't care what the final outcome was so much. But if you can find time to do something like that where you're just painting for you, you're not worried about it being a A-plus work, I, I can guarantee this work that you're seeing right now, I would not consider an A-plus work. It's just a sketch. It's a sketch, it's a study, whatever you want to call it. it, but it keeps your brain in a certain gear. So when you are working on something that is going to be really big, is going to be something that you really want to push to be a top end piece, to be an A plus work, you're going to have those skills ready to go. Now, one of the other things I really liked about this painting was because I was working off a black and white image, not the one you're seeing in the top left, just a black and white image. I I had to figure out the colors on my palette for myself. I didn't have any reference colors. I didn't have a Photoshop image like the one you're seeing in the top left. I just used a black and white of the reference image from Pinterest. And it forced me to learn to create colors for myself. A lot of the time I'm working with a concept image that has some colors, it has everything kind of locked in as far as the general color idea I want. 
And I don't like to have that crutch all the time. I like to paint where I just think up some colors from my mind. I think, well, with this painting, I said, you know what, I'm gonna do some purples in the shadows. I'm gonna go with some middle of the road blues for the highlights. And that's gonna be where I go with this painting. That was really all I had. I would call this kind of analogous in a way, the way these colors are going from purples to blues. If you look at a color wheel, the purple and blue is right next to each other. So the colors are just sort of generally shifting from purples to blues, from darks to lights. Pretty simple concept, but uh, I played around with the colors. I got the midtones, the darks, the highlights all figured out before I really started painting. And I had a very basic setup. I had just a wood palette. I had my really basic easel that I built myself that's sitting on the kitchen table. All I had was walnut oil for the paint that I was gonna use. So everything was very straightforward. I wasn't worried about getting into special mediums like stand oil and odorless mineral spirits. I just kept this as simple as possible and focused on drawing, on seeing shapes, and playing with composition, playing with tonal composition, and really just keeps your brain fresh. I think that's the main reason I like to paint like this. Now, some other interesting things that I think happen quite a bit when I paint these is some interesting accidents happen where I get a whole new idea for another painting or a whole another idea in general for a series or, or maybe what my next painting will have going on with it because of something I thought of while painting this study. So as long as your mind is constantly working, is constantly thinking about art, it will open up all kinds of new possibilities. You'll get into a flow, you'll start to think more and more conceptually about your next work naturally and there's really no downside to painting studies if you have an hour to kill if you have two hours to kill if you only have 30 minutes to kill see what you can do in a 30 minute study i think it's very beneficial to just see what you can do in 30 minutes and it will help get that brain working it'll help it get ready for that next big work that you plan on doing after that study now another nice thing i know this is kind of silly to say but creating this YouTube video. This study became beneficial for this YouTube video. If I didn't create this study, I wouldn't have a video for today. I'm a little behind on having videos ready for YouTube, so just doing this on a Saturday, it ended up working out that this was the perfect video to post for this Wednesday. So, and another thing, social media, posting a quick 10 second video based on my painting process for this. I was able to post on Instagram, so that was useful. It's always great to show that you're active as an artist. And if you're self-taught like me, it was super helpful for me when I was first getting started to start posting on Instagram. I didn't start posting every day when I first got started. I didn't have the time, I had a day job, but now that I'm full-time self-employed artist, I have the time to post every day. And that really helps to show galleries, to show other artists, to show collectors that you're very active in the art world. Because if you don't do that, it's gonna be hard to sell yourself as an artist. And another thought I just had about how these studies can be helpful is it really helps to build a portfolio. Now, studies are a whole different section of your portfolio in a way because you don't want to group those with your other work. It won't have all the bells and whistles that your really big, fully fleshed out pieces have. But if you have a portfolio on your website or on your page on Instagram, it's good to have these sketches. It's good to put them somewhere to show that you have a really deep amount of work. So, and one of the final things I think I want to talk about is how you can use these little studies as challenges for yourself. You can see what you can do in under an hour. You can see what you can do in 20 minutes, or you can see what you can do with certain color ranges. Maybe you just want to try three colors on your palette. Maybe you want to try a black and a white. Maybe you want to try reds or blues. And you can challenge yourself to see what you can do with certain colors. And you'll find all kinds of different ways to create these little mini challenges to improve your work overall. So that's just my thoughts on this study. I think this one turned out pretty well. I decided to go with some nice abstract palette knife brush marks towards the end here which I think really kind of gave it that nice finishing touch to make it feel like my work. Even though this is a study, I kind of want it to feel like my bigger, more fleshed out work. So let me know what you think in the comments about this work. Let me know what you think about doing studies yourself. I'd love to hear about it. Now, if you get a chance, go over and check out my Patreon page. There are a bunch of tutorials on there that can really help you out with your painting needs, learning how to oil paint, learning how to portrait paint, how to see the shapes that build a face. All those things can be found on my Patreon account. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, all you art geeks out there. I will talk to you again very soon.